Well, here it is. Miskatonic Library. Not the, uh, friendliest place in town. And this town and friendly ain't even in the same zip code. Darkham. Horrible hellhole. Never thought I'd stick around when I came here, 23 years ago. She was local, young and unstable, and I was probably too much to handle. Then she left me with an empty bottle of 81 proof and a broken heart. <sighs> My gut instinct was telling me I could look at everything a second time, glean extra information that might be useful, or not. Now, I gotta investigate the library first. Not nearly as badly lit as the name would suggest, but more than compensating on the creepy scale. No. Got to investigate the library first. It's a dusty old book. Its title is really hard to read. It's the popular book section. Apparently, all Daniel Maroon novels. You know, Vatican mysteries and all that. That's where folks get strange, ancient diseases by flipping the wrong pages with their bare fingers. Rows and rows of moldy old books. For some reason, they seem particularly unattractive. Wear protection. Goes for libraries, too. If my detective cylinders aren't misfiring, that's gotta be the librarian. That desk is literally blocking my access to knowledge. Evening. Good evening, sir. The name's Katype. Don R. Katype. Here to see about a book. <laughs> well, you've uh, come to the right place. Yeah. It's called the uh, Necronomicon. <laughs> Do you have it? Oh, that book. Yeah. Uh, let me check. Yeah, they're all lent. All versions of it. There's more than one? Why, sure, you've got your... Oh, wait, you're talking about the real Necronomicon, aren't you? Yeah, no, sorry, that doesn't actually exist. Doesn't exist, huh? My employer seems to think otherwise. An ancient grimoire full of arcane writings that could summon powerful demonic entities and potentially fold reality onto itself? We don't really carry that kind of stuff here. Chances are, it's nothing but a myth, Mr. Katype. No such thing as the Necronomicon, you say? Mind if I, uh, snoop around your collections a little while? I don't mind personally. You'd have to talk to Mr. Orne about the rare books department, though. At the moment, he's really busy with some new arrivals upstairs, so you'd have to wait a while. But, sir, waste of time, really. That book is just a legend. An ugly, ugly legend. You, uh, 
wouldn't happen to be intentionally trying to conceal it from me, would you? I'm just a librarian, sir. As far as I know, the real Necronomicon is a myth. Sorry to disappoint you. You haven't been the first to come and ask about it and you probably won't be the last. Definitely our most popular in existent book. Who else has been interested in it? Everyone, from excitable teenagers to these freaky cultist types that seem to crop up everywhere in the last few months. Just when you thought Darkham couldn't get any weirder, these clowns come along and prove you so wrong. What can you tell me about these cultists? Well, they come in all shapes and sizes, can't really tell them apart. I mean, it's not like they waltz in here dressed up in ceremonial robes or anything, but you can tell from the way they speak, they're not all there. Hmm. Aren't you a bit young to be a librarian? <laughs> Look, I can tell you come from a, a different era, but between you and me, that's straight up ageist. Oh, really? And that uh, different era business ain't? <laughs> Touché, Mr. Katype. I'm a student, it's a job, it's quiet, it, it pays the bills. Aren't you a bit too old to be a student? <laughs> I like the cut of your jib. That's something your type would say, right? My type? Now look here, son. <laughs> there it is again. Ugh. I didn't catch your name, Mr. Kerwin. Buzz Kerwin. That's an interesting surname and an accent that I can't quite place. Yeah, I'm, I'm half Romanian. My mom was born in Transylvania. I kept her family name because it sounds cool, you know? Never get teased because of that? No, no. For Buzz, on the other hand, <laughs> plenty. All right, Mr. Kerwin. I guess I'll have to wait. It's like that strange tentacled beast is watching me. There's a thing on the doorstep there. Looks like a package. It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. It's this thing I found on the library's doorstep. Looks like a package of some sort. I found this thing on the doorstep. Were you expecting a package? No, not really. Let's see it. There's a note here. Oh, it's for you. For me? What, what does it say? Too long have you meddled in our business, Katype. Here's your chance at a bright future for a change. <laughs> is it me or is this thing ticking? Mr. Katype! He's gone. Was that you making all that racket, Kerwin? No, 
Mr. Orange, sir. Someone set off a bomb in here. I was about to call the police. Nonsense! You call this a bomb? You should have seen Dresden, son. Now that was some firepower right there. Clean up a little, will ya? I... Uh, okay, sir. Well, at least that thing took some damage. I think it's a little loose now. There's a weird glow emanating from behind it. What the... I'd knock it off for sure, but I can't reach that high. I just realized how long I've actually wanted to do this. Don sends his regards, ugly. Is, is this what Don was after? This looks nothing like the other editions. Creep factor just went up 200%. Who would hide it up there? And why? You're coming with me, weird book. Well, I never thought I'd actually say this, but the Necronomicon feels weird in my pants. Oh boy, what an evening. Think, boss, think! Don's been kidnapped. The police are a bunch of corrupt and incompetent tools. What do I do? Well, Orn can close up for the night. Things are way too messed up to stick around. The best thing to do is retreat to the bus cave, clear my head, and see what this strange book is all about. <sighs> okay, safely home. What, what the hell was all that about? Is this really happening? Am I really talking out loud to myself? What is this book? God, I need to stop talking to myself. I sound crazy. Kitty, should I open this thing and see what's written in it? What do you say? <sighs> You're a lot of help. Okay, might as well take a peek. Ia, Ia, Kashaptu Zidinjir Kampa, Per Adonai Methatron. What the? This is genuinely becoming really scary now, and I'm all alone. What do I do, Kid A? God, God, I wish I you could wish talk, you back, talk for back for once. once. Okay, I know I've been saying everything felt weird before, but that was really, really weird. Something feels very different now. As much as I hate agreeing with you, something does feel very different now. I know, right? Maybe reading that out loud wasn't such a good idea, huh? It sure seems so. Right? I mean... Whoa, 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 whoa wait! Are you actually talking back to me? Took you a while, huh? Mm -hmm. I feel like we were in a much more productive place a few moments ago. You know, analyzing the situation. Maybe working toward a solution? You talk! I stand corrected. You seem to have a firm grip on the situation. But how? You just read an incantation and then wished out loud that I could talk back. So... This is wrong. This can't be happening. This is wrong! Wait, I know. I'll just find the spell or whatever it is and reread it and, and reverse this. That should work, right? You're not really expecting any kind of relevant answer from me, are you? Right. I mean... Oh. Oh, what the... It's gone! I can't find it anywhere! I had... This was definitely the page I read it from, but there's different text on it now. What the... Should I read it out loud? Wait, sorry, I wasn't considering your point of view here. Do you want to be a... 
talking cat? Please don't take this the wrong way, but that's a resounding and definitive no. I just don't want your kind of problems, man. My deal is sleeping, eating, and generally being decorative. I can get behind that. Okay, here goes. Balagu beldirigu baga ka kampa. I wish Kitty would go back to normal. Did it work? <coughs> Darn it, can't even meow right anymore. I think it's safe to say it hasn't. Oh boy, this is a problem. This is a problem. Um, by the way, Kitty, nice to meet you. We've known each other for years, dude. Kitty, is that what I call you? Uh, haven't you been doing it for years already? Dumbest name possible if you ask me, but I don't care either way. I don't need one. So, are you gonna um, stick around? No, I'm gonna walk the earth like Kane in Kung Fu. You'll stick around and undo this. You really think I want to be like you for the rest of my life? That's gotta be racist or something. We're not even the same species. We need to find a way to reverse this, so get to thinking. Yeah, you're right. I'm on it. That's Ron Dilbert. Scenic Transylvania. That's where my roots are. My tablet. It's been charging for two days now. They're not toys, okay? I don't play with them. Well... I don't like this new situation at all. That's Kitty. My, uh, Kitty. Yeah, I know. Not the most imaginative name. Totally understandable. Really? Yes, really. If I were called Buzz, I'd be reluctant to get creative when naming anyone, too. Touché, pussycat. It's our oven. I'm deathly afraid of it. Long story. That's our tiny fridge. That's been there since Lemon left for that esoteric retreat. I'm frankly afraid to touch it. Kitty, this might be a weird thing to ask, but remember when I brought lady friends home? Yeah, those were rare enough occasions that I can remember. Oh, I see where you're going with this. I have no interest in that. All the kissy kissy sounds are just... ugh. I tune them out. Whew, <laughs> good to know. What's a bit harder to tune out are the audio olfactory clues to how your digestive system works. Or rather does so poorly. What? Ugh, just don't fart around me anymore, okay? Oh, right, yeah. Sorry. Kitty, I'm a little stumped here. I have no idea what to do next. We're clearly in over our heads. Maybe we should reach out to someone who knows more about this black magic thing. You've got a point. Hmm. Wait, what about my roommate, Lemon? He's my roommate too, remember? Yeah, he does know a lot of people. A lot of suspicious people. They're really into his homemade cookies, for some reason. Suspicious people is definitely who we're after. I've seen him write down names in this little notebook. Maybe we should look for it. 
He's away on that esoteric retreat thing, though. No way to reach him. We're gonna have to find a way to get inside his room. 